Wagner, W-A-G-N-E-R. Okay. And um, you were in the Navy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me about your rank and your job. Uh, I was aviation electrician, third class, uh, but I worked as a plane captain the whole time I was in. I was attached to a uh, light attack VA-195 out of Lemoore, California. We flew the A-7Es. We made two cruises on the Kitty Hawk to Vietnam. And um, I never worked at my rate. I was a plane captain the whole time. So um, is this your first time to be here? Yes. What, I mean, it's a, it's a lot to take in. What, yes. what was your first, just your immediate thought at all of these places that we've been to? We lost uh, one of our uh, squadron commanders uh, overseas. He crashed on flight ops, and we had another one shot down. We had one other member of our squadron that was lost at sea. Don't know what happened. Just all the all the people that those three people that didn't make it and. And all the the friends that I made and um, enjoyed the places that we saw that I'd have never been able to see again. Um, Hong Kong, Philippines, Japan. Um, but it's it's a loss, but it's also um, it's good that that most of them made it back. And um, just being, you know, at the Arlington Cemetery, that's kind of overwhelming. Um, what did you think about going through? Anybody who isn't moved by that just has no feelings at all. I mean, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Um, it's just a, a tremendous experience. And I, <laughs> you almost can't put it into words. It's it's really, really something special. I would have to agree. <laughs> um, so as far as um, this experience, y'all kind of have built a camaraderie, I guess. The veterans that are here on this trip. Tell me about that. Um. It's, uh, most of them are, are Vietnam era, which I am, uh, but we have some Korean and, and World War II veterans. Um, and we share stories, uh, sometimes overlap. Um, we have Army, Navy, Marines, and it's good to talk and share times that they were there. Uh, we were off the coast at the same time they were there and, and uh, different, different stories that, that come about, different people that they know that you know or have met. It, it's, it's built a, I mean, you could sit and, and have stories all evening if you didn't have to get up so early. But it was, um, it's really, it really builds a, a camaraderie. And for, you know, we've seen so many young people come up to y'all and, and thank you for your service. And what does that mean to you? When we came back, um, uh, Rhino and I, it was one of the, one of the only times in American history where we weren't appreciated, weren't thanked. We were spit on, we were cussed, called names. To get some recognition back now means a lot. Um, it means that people are are seeing what happened, what went on over there, and that we weren't 
the people they thought we were. Um, we, even some of the ones that um, are, came from uh, Desert Storm and that, they say we opened up a lot of things for them um, because we had to fight so hard for respect, um, VA benefits and, and so forth, which has made it easy for them. But it, it's, it just gives us peace of mind. Um, I mean, it was a bad time, it really was. And it was a, one of the darkest uh, congressmen and senators and everybody has said it was one of the darkest times in American history, the way we were treated when we came back. So it helps. What would you, um, what would you tell those future generations? Would you give them any advice? Or... Uh, it's, it's changed in advice that I, w I could give them. Um, just do what, what you can, uh, what you're told. Uh, the world has changed when they come back. They won't have to go through what we went through because we went through it. Um, I, don't, I don't think that uh, the world will ever let that happen again. I hope not. Um, they do the best they can and hope they get back.